Hey guys, so, um, uh, I'm playing Crab War, but that's not the main point of this video. Um, I made a Crab War mutation guide, and I'm gonna read it to you guys, and I want you to tell me how it was. And it's basically the ultimate test for my recording voice and what it would be like if my videos were scripted. Anyways, um, if you guys end up liking it, I have a, um, I have a Crab War gene guide, uh, handy, so next video will be that if you guys like it. Anyways, uh, I'd like you guys to comment on this and tell me how it was. Um, I'm sorry if I sound nervous, it's just I'm making a video, it's scripted, it's in front of a, a whole bunch of people. Anybody can see it. So, I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath real quick. Okay, uh, I'm back. I just needed a couple seconds to prepare myself. Anyways, um, I want you guys to follow along and listen to what it says. Because if you're new to this game... It will probably help you a whole lot. And if you're not new to this game, you'll probably still learn something you didn't know. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just going to read it, I guess. And I'm sorry if I stutter or if I say a line, but then I say the line before it, after that. Um, in the past tries, I did that a few times. Anyways, um... Uh, well, let's just take a shot at it. Crab War Mutation Guide Intro If you are a new player, you may think it's impossible to get a DNA point. But at my level, I get thousands within a few hours. Currently, I'm around 80 ecdysis and average around 7,000 meters. But I have the mutation Ember Tipped Walkers, which double my progression speed. Anyways, enough bragging. Here's the guide to get a mutation, aka DNA points. DNA by evolution. You can get DNA by evolving your crabs. It starts at the claw tail evolution for amethyst, and you get one point for every evolution after that. Research costs. Once you get your first DNA point, you can spend it and get a mutation. The mutation research costs gets more expensive for every mutation you own. At 22 mutations, me, it costs around 22 to 23,000 DNA to get my 23rd mutation. Rerolling tips and what to avoid. You can reroll mutations or get a refund for them. It costs pearls and isn't worth it at low levels. There are 36 mutations total, and about half of them suck. A quarter of them are okay, and a quarter of them are great. To know if your mutations are bad and if you should reroll, look at the stats. The top stat is a damage buff, but the bottom one is what matters. It affects, I mean, if it affects critical rate, critical damage, speed, colossal crab cooldown, or queen spawn speed, you should re-roll it. DNA boosts. If you get three mutations of one type, example, violet tipped solar flare, or stal stal stalagmite, etc., you will get a 30% boost in DNA when ecdysis. Each full set affects this around it can stack up to 360%, which is plus three times the DNA. There are two genes in the gene tree that give you up to 10% more DNA per full set, times two, so 20%, and that, and two that give you 2% per mutation also two of them, so 4%. These may seem pathetic, but trust me, they are worth getting. 
Also, there is a mutation that gives you plus 10% DNA for Echidices per level and, pe and can be upgraded infinitely. They are called Ember-Tipped Carapus. All your DNA bonuses add up to one big bonus. So let's say you have three sets, 90% plus both of the genes, 96% plus level 10 ember tipped carpus plus 100%. That adds up to a grand total of 206, I mean 286%. Outro. That's mostly everything simple you can learn about mutations and DNA. So make sure to check out my other guides. Here's a list of my other guides. Gene Guide and Pearls and Crowns Guide. Alright, that was pretty hard. Um, luckily, I didn't mess up too badly. I know I stuttered a bit. Uh, that was pretty uh, hard to do without um, completely messing it up. But I think I did pretty well. Uh, I'm sorry if some of the parts I just stopped talking for a few seconds because, I mean, it's not that easy to just keep talking for like four minutes straight uh, and you know you're talking in front of what will be hundreds of people in the future, if not more. So, that was my best shot so far. Um, I did do one better. But I forgot to record the audio because one of my settings was turned off for the audio. So I guess that's on me, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm just going to play Crab War for the next few minutes on this video. Anyways, um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and tell me your feedback like if you think it was bad if you think it was good if i stutter too much anything like that and i know i probably sound really nervous right now it's cuz well that's the first time i've read off a script in one of my videos and i don't know it's pretty weird like I'm not using a script right now, it's a lot easier, but if you slip up or anything, it's like, you're going by script, and if you mess up, that's like against the script. I don't know, it's just weird. Like, and I probably sounded weird, I think. Like, I probably sounded like a robot, I don't know. But I'm going to watch this video after um, after it's done, and then I'm going to post it. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long, so make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.